Happy Monday guys, I'm Barrage, welcome to Technability, and we have Insert Coin 4.3 Jelly Bean for the HTC One. Now this ROM is for the most part based off of the Google Play edition of 4.3, however it's missing a few of the features and we'll get into that in a minute, but really for the most part it's just bare bones stock Android 4.3. So if I go to settings here, you can see 4.3, okay Android Jelly Bean. Now this is again, it's called Insert Coin. Uh, for all you guys looking to download it, I'll post a link below and you can go ahead and check it out at XDA. Okay, now first thing uh, I want to showcase with this ROM is the lock screen. If I just basically go to the lock screen here, you can see very similar to what you get with 4.2.2. You got the uh, widgets, you got the camera, and of course you have, let's go back. Of course you have the unlock. There's no uh, customizations in terms of adding shortcuts here, such as you get with, let's say, signage and mod, but for the most part, it's very functional, it's fast, uh, it's instant to your touch, so it's good enough if you guys aren't really too crazy about customizations. Um, now, you can see the home screen here. One thing that you'll notice is that the icons are slightly larger than what you're gonna get with 4.2.2 or with previous versions. And let me just show you guys a screenshot here of the previous version, so you can get an idea of what I'm referring to. Okay, so this is 4.2.2, and you can see the icons here are fairly smaller. Now if I go back home, you can see they're larger here. So there's no way to change that. Uh, it is what it is. So you're going to get larger icons. Some people like that, some people don't. It matches, you know, in terms of scaling, I guess it matches the fact that the screen is a 4.7 inch. And it's 1080p, so the resolution is still very high. If I zoom in, you can see again, you can see the icons are fairly clear and the resolution is high. Uh, not much if any pixelation on that end. So uh, again, it's a give and take and I guess it's going to be all about whether or not you prefer that in the eye of the beholder as they say. Now obviously if I take an icon and drag it in, I can create a folder. I can, you can see dragging icons around in the folder is super smooth. I mean look, look how smooth that looks. It just has a really nice smooth feel to it and that's because 4.3 has added extra GPU acceleration in the form of OpenGL so uh, you're going to get a little bit more fluidity and you can see I can move the widget around again just very instant very smooth uh, if I just bring down the notification bar there's no toggle so you're gonna have to download a third-party app for that uh, there's no way to customize this there's also no way to customize the quick setting so you're gonna get what they give you again it's bone stock uh, basically even when it comes to Google Apps uh, you can see currents isn't here you got to download maps separately um, obviously you're gonna get <clears throat> the Play Store and Gmail and all that but there are some things that are going to be missing for the most part. If you're crazy about keep and currents and whatnot, uh, then, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, this ROM, it doesn't come with it specifically out of the box. But, again, there are mods and tweaks to be able to get those things. And what the benefit of Insert Coin of this specific ROM is, is its speed and its uh, stability. It's super fast, super stable. Uh, literally, I've had zero issues. Everything works. GPS locks, Bluetooth works, apps run fine, third-party apps. I'll just go ahead and run a game here, for example, Jewel Maze. Okay, show you guys what... a a game looks like on this thing. Uh, in terms of benchmarks, I've been getting scores of about 13,500 on Quadrant, about 26 to 27,000 on N22. Nina Mark, I was able to get about 60 to 61 frames per second. Lin Pack, about 150, 160 uh, mega flops. And a Sun Spider, I was able to get about a 700 through, uh, or excuse me, about an 800 through Google Chrome. All right, so let's just go ahead and click on Digger. Dirk Diggler. Uh, this is basically a Jules game. See, it runs perfectly fine. No slowdown, no lag, runs perfect. And if I exit out here, quick and easy. Now, if I want to multitask, just hold down the home button. Oops, holding down, the, holding down the home button gets you Google now. Double tap, and I can just swipe them away. You don't get that option to swipe them all the way at once. You got to do them one by one. All right, but you can see it's quick, immediate. Super responsive. Let's just go ahead and do a quick test here of how fast I can open and close out of things. Okay. Pretty pretty fast, right guys? Pretty fast. All right, let's check out the camera here. Camera's not optimized for HTC Sense, so keep that in mind. All right, so you're not gonna get all the bells and whistles that you get with HTC Sense. Uh, it's the 4.3 camera stock. Uh, let's see what you get here. You get uh, Photosphere and you get Panorama, which is cool. Take a picture. 
Okay, swipe over, there's my picture. I could share it. If you download third party apps, all those sharing options come into uh, this location right here. If I pinch in, I could just swipe up and delete it. Okay, let's just go ahead and check out the messaging application. I right, one thing, excuse me, one thing I've noticed with 4.3 is the super responsive keyboard. All right, let's see what I type there. Hey, how are you? Too cute. Um, in any case, it's super responsive. It's literally, uh, I mean, in my opinion, I did a separate video on this. I think it's right there with iOS now in terms of responsiveness. You can see I'm just tapping away and it's basically responding immediately to my touch. Let's go ahead and try the uh, voice. Hey, how are you? What's going on? What are you doing today? Let's go figure out what there is to do tonight in Los Angeles. I think the weather is beautiful, so there should be a lot of cool things to do. Okay, so there you guys go with that. Exit out. Check out some Google now. What is 6 times 6 minus 3 to the third power? The answer is 9. Set reminder tomorrow, 10 p.m. Need to go to the movies. I don't know if I need to go to the movies, but I want to go to the movies. Okay, I got to uh, set up Google now. All right, let's see. Play switch foot. Choose how to play or buy. Okay, again, I haven't set up Google now. Let's try one more thing here. Who is the president of the United States? Barack Obama is the president of United States of America. Okay, let's exit out. If you go back, you can go back to all the other searches that you were uh, that you were doing. Let's see. We got clock, obviously. Everything else is pretty much similar. Um, I mean, not much different on the ends of functionality. It's just a minor improvement, system system improvements. Let's check out some video here. Make it high quality. Welcome to Tech Ability. Hope you're having a safe and happy weekend. All right, so what we have here today is a Galaxy Note 2 and a Galaxy S4, both running CM 10.1, 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just get started real quick with a software or with a hardware uh, spec run. Fast forward how fast it loads on this net. By the way, the data speeds are superb, and I'll show you guys right now what I mean. I'm um, on T-Mobile's network, but LTE on this is legit. So, all right, you know, let's just exit out of that. Actually, I want to just show you guys the LTE here because I just brought it up, and I think it's something that's really cool. Uh, something that I didn't get with previous stock ROMs. You can see my speeds right there, 24 megabytes up or down and 11 or 12 megabytes up. You know, I got 27 and 12 here. For T-Mobile speeds in LA, those are good, guys. I know for a lot of you Verizon and AT&T customers, you're probably thinking, oh, that's nothing. But again, for T-Mobile in LA, that's superb. Superb speeds. Okay, let's check out um, Chrome here. Okay, obviously Chrome browser. Pinch zoom. Super responsive. I pinch in here and I just swipe away. Okay, tabs right here, which other platforms have adopted those types of tabs, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see what else is different here on 4.3. I mean, there's probably a few things that I haven't covered per se, such as little UI differences and UI fixes, or not even fixes per se, but just improvements on the UI end. Of course, if I take a widget here and I place it as such, I got my widget. If I take that widget and I just swipe it away, it's gone. Okay, let's see what else here. Dialer's the same, nothing different on the dialer end. Um, brightness brightness levels, by the way, is a really good app, guys, if you guys are looking for a bright uh, brightness toggle. Download brightness level, it's free in the Play Store. Everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, it's rooted out the box, you can see super user right there, so as soon as you install it, it's rooted. It's installed through Aroma. Roma installer, gaps not needed. You could flash a separate radio, which uh, the developer of Insert Coin provides. Again, I'll post a link below of where to get this ROM. It's really good for you guys who don't want any of the bells and whistles, who just want a, a clean stock um, 4.3 experience. Again, you're not going to get Beats Audio. You're not going to get the IR Blaster. You're not going to get the camera features like Zoe. So keep that in mind, guys. I think for a lot of people, that may be important. But in any other... Uh, 
circumstance or in any other case, this is a really good ROM. If you're looking for a clean, fast, fluid, super responsive, super stable experience where everything works, this is your ROM Plus. Development's good, constant updates, usually daily. Uh, so definitely, if you're big on latest and greatest and updates, Insert Coin is, is great, especially for the HTC One or specifically for the HTC One. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching Technability. Don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, check out our website, www.technability.com. Uh, we got some really cool stuff, cool content on the website for you guys, as well as some how to's, reviews, comparisons, podcasts, and more. Thank you guys for watching Technability. Have a safe week.